Hello, Dan Harvey for Imagineer Systems here with a look at measuring and exporting camera solve data from Mocha to Autodesk Flame. For a camera moving freely in three dimensions we need to track more than one plane to achieve a solve. I'll begin by drawing an X-spline shape around an area on the wall in the distance. Right clicking the mesh closes the shape and right clicking and dragging a tangent handle will simultaneously adjust the tension on all shape vertices. Next I'll track the ground plane. It's best to avoid tracking areas with shadows and reflections as these will introduce errors. So I'll select Add X-Spline to Shape and add more splines in the areas which are not in shadow. All three of these will contribute to the track in the current shape. I'll turn on the surface overlay for this compound shape and align it with the perspective on the ground plane. Next I'll plot an X-Spline shape around this plane in the mid-ground. I'll plot the last shape in the plane where I want to insert my 3D object. When I align my object with this point, the solve camera's motion will be accurate relative to it. I'll adjust the surface so I can check that the motion is correct when tracking is complete. This plane goes out of frame towards the end of the shot, so I'll set an out point for the shape so it stops tracking before errors occur. I'll enable perspective tracking for all shape layers and hit the track forward button to begin tracking. When tracking is complete, I'll switch to the Camera Solve tab. I'll select the shape in the plane where I want to insert my 3D object in Flame. This shape isn't tracked for all frames of the clip, but it's worth noting that you can achieve a solve by selecting multiple shapes overlapping in time if no one shape spans the entire duration of the clip. So I'll also select the shape in the mid-ground which has been tracked across all frames. The motion of both these shapes will be used to solve the camera. I'll select the focal length and motion type, in this case a large parallax change, and hit solve to solve the camera in relation to the currently selected shape. The dialog box indicates that the solve is good, at 99% accuracy, so I'll export my camera data as an FBX file. In the batch workspace in Flame I have my background plate routed to the background input of an action node. In action, I've already imported the 3D model of the gargoyle to attach to the buttress in the background plate. I'll right click in the action schematic view and import the FBX file I exported from Mocha. The prompt alerts me to the fact that frame numbers are misaligned as I started tracking from frame 0 in Mocha. So I'll align the start of my FBX animation to frame 1 in the action timeline. The imported camera appears as a camera node in action. I'm currently seeing through Action's default camera, and when I scrub I can see the motion of the imported camera, along with the point cloud corresponding to the planes I tracked in Mocha. When I click on a camera node, I can select the imported camera from the drop-down list to generate the result view. Now I see through the imported camera which moves relative to the point cloud. Each point has an associated axis node in the Action schematic view. I'll select the centre point of the required plane in the viewport and parent its axis to my geometry in the schematic. Now I'll switch to a 3-up view, select the top viewport, select the point I want to align my geometry to and line it up. It's important to note that objects should be aligned with points which are coplanar to the planes tracked in Mocha, otherwise the parallax won't match. Finally, I'll scrub the timeline and preview the result. Thanks for watching. For more Mocha tutorials and workflows for sharing Mocha data with third party applications, check out the videos at imagineersystems.com.